All right, team, how are we doing? This is Coach Dana Cavalier coming at you with the Becoming a Champion show where we are all about inspiration, motivation, and encouragement to move you along your high performance journey. And today, we are going to talk about a very special topic. And that topic is not positivity, but negativity. Yeah, we're going to talk about negativity. And it's important that we address it because I believe there is a huge cost to being negative. And many of you may say, coach, yeah, no kidding. I know that to be true as well. But what's your point? This is just how I am. Or some people say I'm not negative, but they don't even realize that they are. And they don't understand how their views, their words, their language and sentence structure is what contributes to their negativity that they are not even aware of. So we're going to talk about that today. And I, and I do so through what I call the negativity scale. See, I believe there's a scale and it's a one to 10 scale. And one says, I am very, very negative. And 10 says, there's no negativity in the world. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't even understand what you're talking about. And I tell people that, both one and 10 are both dangerous because one is extreme and 10 is also extreme. So we don't want to be one and we don't want to be 10. But the truth is there are people that are one and there are people that are 10. And the ideal zone is between eight and nine. And eight and nine says, hey, things are going to work out. Things are great. I understand that there's some things that could go wrong. I get it. But I'm focused on what's going to go right. That's eight and nine. Eight and nine says, I could do I could do this. I could do anything I believe in, and I can do ev- anything that I believe I can do. So if I believe in it and I believe in myself, it's all going to come together. It's all going to work out if it's what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's the eight and nine. And it's not saying that eight and nine – individuals don't experience any sort of conflict, but they don't see the conflict. They move right through it. They see the opportunity. Now, if you're somebody that's a two and three, usually you're going to see much more conflict. You're going to have a a victimist mentality. You're going to see issues more so than you're going to see victory. You're going to focus on those issues. You're going to focus on what could go wrong and not what could go right. You're going to focus on the risk and why you shouldn't do something or why this something could turn out really bad as opposed to being an eight and nine that says, hey, we're going to focus on this and it's going to be great. And why wouldn't it be? And a two and three says, well, here's why it wouldn't be. So you got to be very careful as to where you sit on this scale. Now, there, there are people out there that aren't sure where they sit. And that's when you ask other people. So the, the exercise, this is an actual exercise. Like I said, I don't come to you and just do a podcast. I'm here to coach you. And on the negativity scale, you have one to 10. I always like to say, don't make five an answer because it's, it's the easy way out, but truly grade yourself and say, hey, where do I really sit? And then ask a few people around you and say, hey, I'm doing this exercise. It's negativity scale. I'm happy to do it for you as well. Um, can you just help me out? Um, one is extreme negativity, 10 is extreme positivity. Where, where do you think I sit and have them fill it out for you? And if you can go to three to five people, you'll get a good idea as to where you sit on the scale and give them permission to be honest with you and let them know that you appreciate them taking their time to do this. And again, you're happy to do it for them because most of us are not fully aware of where we actually sit on this scale. Now, here's the other side of things. This exercise is meant to be done not just once and done. It could be used daily, right? Or weekly or monthly where you say, hey, in the moment, hey, where am I right now? And you're using it as a checkpoint. Am I a seven today? Yeah, I'm a seven. Good. Perfect. Um, man, I'm feeling like a two today. What's going on? And that's when you have to elevate yourself. And we'll go over some tools, you know, uh, to, to talk about how to do that. But ultimately, the, bit, the best tool you could use is what I call the horizon line, where 
picture this horizon that you have and anything above it is positive and anything below it is negative. So five and above is above the line, five and below is below the line. And above the line, it's your job to continue to move yourself above that horizon line daily. And in doing so, you're conditioning the response to be a five plus. And if you don't con- condition yourself above the line, you're going to condition yourself to be a five or less on a day-to-day basis. So you got to use this scale each and every day, each and every week, each and every month if you can, and it will really help you see victory. Because here's the thing, when you're a five or below, it's very hard to win. And when you do win, you'll feel like you didn't win. So really, did you even win? So you're going to typically find people that are unhappy, miserable, uh, constantly frustrated, dealing with a lot of friction and anger below the line. People that are above that line, meaning five plus, they're going to be people that have a a, a good vibe. They're going to have a good energy around them. You're going to want to do business with them. You're going to want to hang with them. You're going to want to engage with them. There's just a purity to them and an excitement about life where people that are five or less below the line they're a little bit rough, but they're rough and they they have this ability to almost snap. So you got to know, um, you know, what kind of a mood they're in and you don't want to be around people like that. So five or less steer away from them five or more. Those are the people you want to be around. So this negativity scale is super important. It's a great check. It's a great checkpoint that you can use for yourself. It's also a good way to say, who do I want to surround myself with? And you could use the scale to say, hey, so-and-so, they're a four, they're a three, they're an eight. Surround yourself with the eights and the nines and the sevens. Find those people, put them around you. And when you surround yourself with seven, eight, and nines, you're going to feel better about life, your friction, your resistance, your, uh, those are going to be low and your flow is going to be up. These are the type of people you sit with at, say, a, a mastermind group or when you're on a winning team. These are the people that, that are thinking about victory. They know they're going to win. Uh, they, they're not jealous. They're not people that are trying to beat you internally and say, no, you did a deal. I hope that deal doesn't go through because I want a deal. I should have had that deal. Those are, those are below the liners. Those are five and belows. But when you find yourself at conferences or in these environments that are think tanks and uh, you know some people are in these mentorship groups, those are the places where you're going to see a higher frequency. And that is super cool. And you're going to see these higher numbers on the scale. So make sure you're in those rooms. Make sure you're around those people and make sure you're always checking yourself and you're very, very aware of your negativity scale. And it's also very important for you to understand your language, how you're presenting yourself, how you're speaking about certain things, how you're viewing certain things, and make sure that your language, your viewpoints, and your attitudes are five plus. You do that, man, everything's going to start changing for you. Think about a deal. Think about if you're somebody that's in sales or you're doing a deal. Do you want to talk to somebody on the other end that's a deadbeat? Or someone that's like, yeah, we're going to do it. We can do this. I know we can do it. I know this is going to be the solution for you. And I know that we're going to be able to help you as opposed to, well, you know, it could kind of work, but you know, you want to be around fives. If you're in sales, you got to be a five plus. And when I say you want to be around fives, you want to be around five plus, five plus, seven plus. And that is magnetic. When you can be in those higher numbers, man, you're going to you're going to change the game for yourself. You're going to change the game for people around you. And, and you're going to actually smother out those that are fives and below. And if you run a company or you run a team, you could actually use this scale on your culture and say, hey, is my culture, is our culture a one to five or a five to 10? Where are we? And what are we going to do to elevate that culture and realize this? When it comes to culture elevation, it always comes down to your people, and it usually starts at the top. So start to look at the top, apply the scale to the top, and you may find that you got a lot of sub fives up top, and you're saying, why is my company culture so poor? 
Well, I think you have your answer. So use the negativity scale. I know it doesn't sound very positive in calling it the negativity scale. We could call it the positivity scale, but I think the negativity scale um, works well here because we're looking for people and ourselves when we're below five, because we know that that won't yield the results. So we want, we got to get ourselves up. We got to get our people up. And as a result, we'll get our culture up. And by the way, there are some people out there that love to be one to five. And those people you cannot have around you, you can't hire them, get them off your team immediately. So that's my message for you today. That's my lesson for you today. The negativity scale, make sure you are aware of it, make sure you're using it. And I promise you, it will change everything for you. This is Coach Dana Cavalli. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. If you're on iTunes listening, please give us a review. And if you're on YouTube watching this episode, which I do every episode in video as well, you know, a comment, a thumbs up. Let me know what your number is. That would be great as well. And if you can subscribe, that would be great as well. And for those of you that haven't headed over to DanaCavalia.com, I do a daily blog Monday through Friday. Make sure you get on there. And every morning, I'm going to hit you with a little bit of something to think about. And we're always going to give you some five plus, really seven to 10 energy. So head on over there, get on the, get on the newsletter, get on the daily blog. And uh, there's some great resources over there as well. So this is Coach Dana Cavalier, and I will see you later. See ya.